Good morning, everybody. My name is Carla, and you have reached my floss tube channel, Carla Being Crafty, where I talk about mostly cross stitch, but also other things that I enjoy and a little bit of life thrown in. Um, today is floss tube number 203. It is Sunday, August 20th, um, and I want to say welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time finding my channel, I hope that you like what you see, want to hit like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Uh, I turn the camera on and I notice all of the little flaws, like my hair sticking out weird ways. And um, Anyway, <laughs> so welcome. Um, whether this is your first time or if you are a returning viewer, um, I'm so glad to see you here today, to have you here. I shouldn't say see you here. I always hate it when people pretend like they're, you know, that the person's talking back to them. I mean, I do tend to talk to myself, etc. cetera, but... Um, Anyway, <laughs> welcome. Um, if you really like what you see, I do have a super thanks button below, which is a way for you to give a monetary tip. Um, it is not something that is ever expected um, or required, but it is truly, truly appreciated. Um, okay, so I always give a weather report anyway, but today actually there's something to report. So Southern California is under a tropical storm watch or hurricane watch, which I guess has never happened in Southern California. Um, you know, I don't know exactly what this means for the rest of the greater uh, Los Angeles area, but here where I live, um, right by Disneyland, what it means is that it's it's raining. It's raining and it's gonna rain all day and possibly part of tomorrow. Um, it's not even raining hard right now. It's I wouldn't even call it a storm. It is just raining a little bit. It's been raining since maybe six this morning. Um, it's not cooler. Well, it is cooler. It is high 70s to low 80s. So it is, yes, a tiny bit cooler, but it does not feel cool because it is raining. I have my window open, um, you know, to try and get fresh, uh, rain air in, but actually I still feel pretty sweaty. In fact, when I was getting dressed this morning, I put on a long sleeve cute t-shirt and I was like, this is cute, but then I couldn't even keep it on because it was like, I'm too hot. So yeah, so it's, it's, it's um, still feels obviously high humidity because it's raining, but um, yeah, it doesn't feel super refreshing. It just, it just is, feels a little wet. Um, also, you know, because of the barometric pressure and stuff, my back is killing me today. It has been all week. Um, but you know, that's just part of the course, you know, um, my body responds in different ways to different weather issues. So anyway, it's raining, um, here in the middle of August in, uh, Southern California. And, um, I guess it's exciting. It, the, the weather's, the temperatures are going to go right back up all week until we're at, uh, nineties again next weekend. So. Um, that's the big exciting news is that it's raining here. Um, we had a Zoom last Sunday, which was very lovely to, to catch up with everybody. It was a little bit of a smaller group. Um, there was a couple people who messaged me and was like, oh, I was planning on going on the Zoom and I can't. I have other plans came up or whatever. Um, but it doesn't matter if there's two people or 20 people. It's still a great time. Um, I haven't set, set one for September yet, but... You know, watch the description box below, and when I get it set up, then um, I will let you guys know. But um, it was really fun. Um, and uh, last week, on Tuesday, was my birthday. I had a very nice, sort of low-key birthday week. Um, on my actual birthday, I did another, or I recorded another kitchen video, and then I put it up on the next day. And um, those who watched it have seemed to enjoy that. So I'm really enjoying doing that and hopefully you guys are enjoying watching. I wasn't planning on doing one today, but now I think I might, I don't know, we'll have to see. So um, there might be another one coming out Wednesday. Um, but yeah, I'm having fun doing it. So um, so yeah, it's just another, another fun thing for me to add to my channel. So yeah, I had a nice low key week. Um, got some, uh, some nice gifts, some unexpected gifts, and I will be showing you because I did get some uh, gifts from um, from some subscribers, which was so sweet. So I do have things to show you, 
later on in the video. Um, and uh, we went out to lunch um, at work on Thursday, not on Tuesday. We actually had a client come in on Tuesday. So um, I got my birthday kind of stretched out a little bit, you know. So I kind of low-key celebrated all week, which was nice. Um, and yeah, that's it. You know, it was just kind of a normal normal week um black cat appreciation day was thursday i want to say so i did put up a little uh instagram post dedicated to my my kitty boy um he had a good black cat appreciation day as well he got some treats and some snuggles which he gets every day so i guess it wasn't that exciting but you know he enjoyed it um and yeah that's about it i did a little bit of crocheting this week but really not enough to show you you know i didn't make that much of a difference um i do have another project in mind that i want to start i know it's like i need to get projects finished and not start all the things but you know i will <laughs> um and i ordered some yarn and it was supposed to come yesterday and didn't so um maybe i'll get that today and oh you knew i was talking about you huh you want to come up and say hi Come here. Come here. Oh, this is Bigura, the black cat, who I appreciated last week. And I don't know what he gets into. Well, I mean, I mean, I know my apartment's like a mess, but it doesn't matter if I just brushed him, just wiped him down. He comes up and I go like this and I get a handful of hair. So, yes, I... Um, but, uh, so I said I didn't do very much crochet last week, or I didn't do anything significant. Um, I do have another project that I want to start, um, but it needs a specific color, and I didn't have that, so, anyway, I have yarn that maybe will be coming today, I don't know. Um, let's see, I think that's it, it's time to get into the whips, although I do want to show you, I fixed my froggy from last week, um, I went ahead and used a Sharpie and gave him a face. So I think it turned out okay, you know, probably not the best way to do it, um, but it worked in a pinch and I like it better with a face than without a face. So yeah, so I, I braved the Sharpie. I was really like concerned that I would completely like just ruin it, but I didn't, so yay. Okay. So whips for the week, um, because I was on Zoom, I always work on my uh, County Canvas piece, which is Country Garden, um, Country Garden something, Country Garden something, and I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm losing my words here, um, and this is by From Nancy's Needles. So I did this whole side and yeah, it's coming along, coming along. So I don't know, next zoom, I don't know if I'll be able to finish this, this, uh, section or not, or if it's going to take two zooms, I don't know. At some point, if I want to get this done this year, I'm going to probably have to do a push, um, when it's not a zoom time but that's not a hardship because i do enjoy working on this so here's that one Oops. okay I'm not used to having my hair done because it's been so hot lately. I basically, my hair's up in a bun or in a ponytail like all the time. And wearing it down during my video, I feel like it's getting in the way of everything. Um, I worked on coal, not coal, ashes, Cole's companion this week. This is a Mill Hill kit um, by Debbie Mum. It's part of a series called Alley Cats, and there's four, two on orange, two on green. So I got 
the face filled in basically. Primitive hair with all sorts of changes, color changes basically. Um, I changed everything, changed the color of the background, changed the colors in the mermaid. Um, I'm using silk. just does not go <laughs> as far as aesthetically so I got most of her hair finished there's still a little bit right here to be filled in and then of course some more down below and I started um, started her tail a little bit So the last one I showed you, both Ashes and this, are definitely going to be on the push for a finish for this year. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, I worked on two full coverages this week. This one, Solar System, is not really on my August list, but I don't know. I just felt like working on it, and um, so I did. <laughs> So this is mini new solar system artwork by Adrian Chesterman, and this is charted by Artisy. And this is like relatively, you know, small for full coverage. It's 200 by 139. basically finished this diagonal that I was working on and did a little bit more because you know the blue is exciting when you've been working on all these oranges and reds and stuff so I kind of wanted to do a little bit more of the blue now I have some kind of error in here um, I got to some point where my because I do 10 stitches across in my diagonal and I ended up with two rows that were the same length and I think I skipped a row somewhere or added added or I don't know exactly what I did so I'm gonna have to fudge it a little bit when I get to that point um, during this diagonal to get it back on track but that's not big a deal because it's like down in here first of all full coverage if you change out one stitch or something it usually doesn't really matter and plus it's down here where it's kind of just like the modely the modely part of the the Sun so it's not gonna be an issue but I don't know if you can see right there, there's like a little dog that means an error. I did actually move this over in the frame a little bit um, because I was getting too close over here. And you know, when I go over here, I just have to pull the, the grime guard away a little bit to get those last couple stitches in comfortably, but um, yeah. Okay, and then I also worked on my mini flower kitty this week. which is a Heaven and Earth Designs artwork by Jeremiah Kentner. Um, this one is 
225 by 225. So also not that big in the world of full coverage, which is what I like. I like the littler ones that I feel like I have, you know, a hope of getting done in a, you know, reasonable amount of time, meaning still years, but not years. So I was just trying to get down to the, the end of the diagonal and I just didn't make it. So I did probably about that much. This one is super, 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 super confetti heavy. Um, it's a mini, so that's partly why. And, um, and I'm doing it on 28 count, two over one tent. So it is pretty small with a lot of confetti. So it doesn't go super fast. Um, it's not like difficult or anything, but it just, it doesn't go super fast. Cause you can see from my park threads, just how many colors are like in each row. And then the last project I worked on this week is, oh, come on, this is going to happen every time I'm having trouble with this, with this zipper right here. Oh my god, I'm going to have to break it, I think. Yep, oh, it just broke. All right. That's it. We're not messing around with it. Oh my goodness. Well, this is going to be in a different bag next time you see it. So this is Phoenix Queen by Bella Filipina. This is my Mishaberach piece, which means uh, Mishaberach is a prayer for healing. Um, so this is kind of my piece that's dedicated um, uh, to all the people that need healing. Um, it was started in honor of Julie stitching at the cabin's mom who is going through some health issues right now, uh, dealing with chemo and all that kind of thing. Um, so she's at the top of my mind, she and Julie, um, and then other people who um, are in need of healing, um, especially when they let me know or I see it on a video or something, I just kind of have those, those people in mind as well when I am stitching on this. And still kind of is in the blob, the blob stage, but it is her skirt. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad about that zipper. This is really pretty fabric too. I'll have to save the fabric and see if there's something else I can do with it. I mean, I know people who like are really good at sewing would just change out the zipper, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just have it as an open bag and put snaps. Yeah, that's, that's doable. Cause I didn't actually, I didn't actually cut the, the actual um, piece. I cut the zipper. So it's like right there, a little bit of the lining. But you know what? I can put snaps. So I think I will. Okay, and that was it for my stitching this week. Um, the other thing that I did do, and I mentioned this last week, but I don't think I showed you guys, was this reverse coloring, reverse coloring books. Um, so I got a couple Amazon gift cards um, from a couple friends and a floss tube a subscriber. Um, which was just so generous and so I decided yes it's okay to get myself a bit of a birthday gift from them um, so 
uh, I got these reverse coloring books. I got all three by the person who originally did this, Kendra Norton. Um, there are a ton out there from a bunch of different like designers and you know book houses and stuff like that. And um, I almost bought another one yesterday, and I was like, no, I have plenty. Um, so. But eventually I might because I, I'm really surprised at how much I have enjoyed this. And I'm going to show you some of the pictures I did. Um, and I got, you know, a couple sets of just like black liner pens. Um, you know, you can get very expensive with like pens and stuff. I got really, you know, inexpensive sets um, because I just wanted to try it out. And I got a couple white gel pens and um, I just am enjoying this so much. So... The idea of what a reverse coloring book is, is basically it's a book full of like watercolor usually images. And some of them are very sort of like this is pretty much okay, it's a bouquet of flowers. Um, you know, some, so some of them are very like obvious what it is and some of them are more abstract. And like that. Um, that's the kind of idea. Now, this person, this is Kendra Norton, who's, a, again, the person who originally uh, started this trend, who, who created the first reverse coloring book. Um, so there's three books. There's this original one. And then there's this one, Through the Seasons, which supposedly they're divided by the four seasons. And then this one is Mindful Journeys, which this one has a lot of, like, mandala-type things. Um like like this right and then so the idea is is you add all the black lines so um you know I thought I decided to try it and I was just really surprised at how much I just really enjoyed it now I've done a couple where I'm trying to like actually draw like on one of the more abstract pages and I don't do as well with those and so those are a little bit more frustrating for me because I don't really have any drawing um ability or knowledge um so yeah those are a little bit more frustrating for me because things don't look like they don't turn out the way i want them to necessarily but then again it's a good way to practice and to learn um so this is one of the mandala ones that i'm working on so you can see all of the lines and little white dots is me so before it looked similar to that and then I added all the lines and stuff. Um, I think that's all I've done in this one. And I'm trying to decide right now while I'm like riffling through this book, if I should show you the ones that I'm not as happy with or, or not because those ones are more embarrassing. So let's see. Okay, this one I'm halfway finished with, or I'm working on still. So you can kind of see the difference from the top and the bottom. And you know, when I'm drawing flowers, I found out that I really like the flowers, like the botanical stuff best. Um, I'm obviously doing sort of like juvenile type flowers and stuff, but it doesn't matter. It's just for fun and I love the way they look when they're done. Um, I did this one, which I think that one is really pretty. And it's just, it's very relaxing and fun and no pressure. Um, a friend of mine was like, oh, I'd hate that because I can't erase my lines and stuff like that. And I'm like, that's kind of the point is just to go for it, to just take your pen and go for it and not worry about it. And, and I've tried to do that with like the other ones too that are not floral and, you know, with varying degrees of success. So this is the one where I have more done. Okay, here's one where I was actually trying to draw and I'm not very good, but this one, this one was like one of the first ones I did because it was just like very obvious and easy and and I just like this up. Wow, I love how it looks. OK, 
Okay, I started this one last night. Needs definitely a lot of work, but and you can definitely tell the difference between like the floral ones where it's just the lines and the ones where I'm actually trying to draw something. The one where I'm trying to draw something, it's not as good. Definitely. Okay. This one I'm kind of proud of. My little mazy bird in the corner. This is the first one I did because it was pretty, you know, straightforward, and I figured that was a good way to try it out. I think that might be it. Oh, and then I'm kind of just working on this one sporadically, just doing like a doodle. Yeah, and that's it. But I'm really, really, really loving these. So. Um, totally highly recommend they're 11 10 or 11 dollars each on Amazon I'm sure you can get them other places um, I think you can get them on eBay even cheaper what is my headband doing here All right, it's getting annoying <laughs> um, yeah so I, I totally recommend them um, I, I just have totally been enjoying it this week you know it's, you don't have to like complete a page, you know, you can do part of it and go back to it. And I just, I like it. And I like the flower ones. They're, you know, they're just very relaxing and just fun. And I feel like it kind of just expands and opens your creative energies, which is, I think, important. Okay, so that was uh, something that I got for my birthday and um, have totally been enjoying. Okay, so uh birthday gifts i have uh some really exciting stuff to show you first i want to uh, say the thank yous so um my my friend uh lori who i don't even think she watches but she sent me a gift card and um my friend tracy sent me a gift card you guys if you're on your zooms you've met on my zooms you've met her um she's been my friend since we were in uh ninth grade i think is when we actually met uh yeah ninth or tenth grade um and um, then also I got a gift card from Sue Radford, which was just totally unexpected and so sweet. Um, I got a wonderful little gift from Kim Roop, which I'm going to be showing you. Um, Debbie uh, Sisk, who is Glitter Dove Fairy on, um, on Instagram. I have to give a big thank you shout out because she mentioned me in her Instagram post, um, kind of made me her featured uh, person of the week or whatever. Um, and she, you know, she sent me that really cool postcard last week that I showed you guys. Um, Lucy, uh, okay, this is something I have to tell you guys, just so that you're aware. Um, you may or may not be aware, like, in, uh, like YouTube, a month ago, two months ago, something like that, changed, like, everybody's username to your actual, like, uh, whatever your username is at, you know, thing, their, the Instagram handle name. So what happened was for me is with you guys who, um, comment a lot on my, on my channels, like even people who comment every time, like, um, like Don, my friend Don, who I talk about all the time when I got <laughs> the first time that this happened and I got a comment from her, I didn't know it was her. I mean, I knew it was her after I read the comment because that she mentioned like her grandson and stuff like that. But I didn't recognize the name because before I would get the name um, and, you know, and actually if I get a notification in my email, it still has the person's name. But then when I look on my YouTube, it's got the handle. So I don't, so there's, um, and sometimes there's a disconnect in my brain. So like people that I've known, you know, now for four years because of their comments, I'm getting a comment from them, but I'm not realizing it's the same person that I've been communicating with for four years. So if, if I don't seem like I'm responding the way I normally do or something like that, it's because of that. Um, especially like you guys can see what your handle is. If your handle doesn't have anything to do with your name anymore, 
that I'm not always sure. Um, but anyway, so I also got um, a uh, a super thanks from uh, Lucy Stranowski Powell, who is now Lucy Craft. <laughs> Um, as far as the handle, yeah, it's very confusing for me. Um, and then my friend Bonnie Lerner, I also got a wonderful gift from, so I will be showing you that in a second too. But thank you to everybody who um, sent me something. And even if you just gave me well wishes, there was a ton of you who said happy birthday. Thank you so much. Um, it did help make my birthday happy, so that was great. Okay, so let's get into the gifties. And, you know, it's, it's a blessing to be on... YouTube and have people send you stuff and I understand that I know sometimes I'm watching other people and they're like and I got this gift and I got this gift and it's like I don't want to sound like I'm being braggy in that way um, that you know it is a blessing and um, now it is also a lot of work to put out a YouTube video so you know um, so it is doubly exciting when people do acknowledge that and and you know, give you stuff but um, but I don't want to sound like I'm being braggy or anything like that. Um, so so I want to show you and share with you and acknowledge the people who sent me stuff. But it's not in any way to say like, oh look at me, I'm so special. <laughs> you know. Um, okay. So this first um, gift is from Bonnie, um, Bonnie Lerner, who also sent me last year she sent me I don't think you can see it well it's like right there she sent me a diamond painting um, but this year she sent me a um, really cute card now I'm gonna open this and cuz I you know it scared me so it might scare you if it works yeah <laughs> she sent me one of those butterflies that jumps out at you um, which was so cool and it's I mean it's a rubber band thing right so you twist it and then you when it's all twisted, you close it up and then it jumps out. So you did get me body with that one. Um, so she sent me a great card and then um, this is, I think it's a little, like a car air freshener, with his, which is a little elephant. Very pretty. I have to figure out how that works. It has a little packet in here of lemon. It says lemon flavor air freshener for your car. I don't know why it says flavor, but. And I feel like there was, there was another thing. Okay. And look at these earrings. I kind of wanted to wear them, but then I knew I was going to like talk about stuff at the end. So look at these earrings. Oh my goodness. These are so cute like baggies on my ears. Look how cute those are. So I mean she hit she hit everything, right? She hit the elephant and the cats and you can tell she's been watching me because I've only mentioned this like four times and she got it for me and I'm so excited. <laughs> I am so excited. She got me a copy of the Joy of Jello book that I've been talking about that my mom had this when I was like in grammar school and I used to pour over this book. And when she, she said, um, she said, I hope you don't mind this is a used book. Of course it's a used book. You can't get a new one of these. Um, and anyway, so I was so excited to get this Joy of Jello book. Um, and I mean, I looked through it and yep, I remember all of these pictures. Um, let me see. What is I'm always fascinated by all of these things. I remember this ambrosia perfect. Look at that. And, and look at this one. Now I like vegetables and jello, but I don't know about the green olives, you know, that looks a little bit 
suspect. What year was this published? 11th edition. Uh, doesn't say, doesn't have a date. Oh, this marzipan. Now I never made marzipan this way. I actually made real marzipan, but I made marzipan for my bat mitzvah when I was 12. Huge, trays and trays and trays. And I used this as a guideline on how to, what to make them look like. I didn't use Jello. I used, made real marzipan, but I think that was an inspiration. And then I always liked all of these, like adding Cool Whip or Dream Whip. They always talk about Dream Whip, which, Dream Whip, which I don't even know if Dream Whip really exists anymore. But Oh, and then this. I always wanted to make that because it was so pretty. And I mean, there's nothing, it's just Jello. There's nothing exciting about it except that it just looks so pretty. But anyway, that's from Bonnie. And I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so there is that. Okay, then I got um, from Kim. Yeah, this uh, really pretty card. It's got it's got glitter on it. It's it's great. And the thing is about certain cards like this is like, yeah, I want to keep them, but but then I also want to use them in my, my journals. Um, so she gave me this is heavy little box, and I was like, what in the world is in here? So she gave me a chart, which is a sets of mystery, which is great. I love this one. Um, it's available in two colorways. Um this is the blue colorway, which to me is, is like, why would you spend money to get both? But see, I change colors anyway, so. But um, I love Satsuma Street, so that is great. And then, the reason the box is so heavy is she gave me a bunch of little golden books. So I don't know if she had these or saw them at a garage sale or something like that. Some of them I had already, some of them I don't. Um, so, yep, so here's more more books to be made into journals eventually and uh ooh, look at that one 101 dalmatians bambi i don't think i had a bambi before so this is very exciting oh and hercules i did not have a hercules i don't think anyway so more books to make into journals um the other thing is I saw, I guess Michael's is starting a beta test of like a sort of Etsy type thing. And I'm thinking about maybe getting in on that on the ground floor, if I can, um, to maybe sell my journals. But I'm still thinking about it. Okay, and then last but not least, my friend Tracy sent me a little goodie box um, from the uh, Pittsburgh uh, Creative Reuse. What's it called? Pittsburgh Center for Creative Reuse. And again, it's kind of like a crafting thrift store. And so she goes in there and odds and ends. Um, she got a bunch of like fabric, kind of like fabric scrappy things, which I don't know exactly what I'll do with. I can't, but I've been thinking like maybe I could actually make it like a fabric page in some of my journals. Because these are, I don't know, these are, they're all... They're pretty. They would also make nice, wow, well, look at that. Um, this is from Italy. I mean, some of this fabric is like nice uh, samples. So I'm not exactly sure what to do with this stuff as far as these you know fabrics and this is like a little piece of like a velvet you know it make it nice of a backing of a pillow or something and this is a sort of like an upholstery velveteeny kind of thing too so she gave me those and then a piece of 14 count uh ada in this sort of blue color blue gray nice decent sized piece 
as long as they left on. Oh, Charles Craft. Huh. This is a little Charles Craft advertisement thing as it come in rolled up with the original piece. But so I got a little bit of Ada. And then this is a Monaco. I think it's 28 count. Yeah, 28 count Monaco in a very light blue. Um, then um, this is a cool little thing. It's called a medallion or something. Anyway, it's an Ada, but it's it's just like a little medallion piece around it. So. You can stitch a little thing on that and you kind of got your finishing already done. Then she gave me a, a Love Pop card, which I love these. so sweaty you know you'd think it would be nice and cool but oh. um this little bag is full of weird stuff you know it's got little wooden hearts and little wooden stars and these little i don't even know what these are i mean there's a couple of these little seahorses they look like they could be floss holders or something. I don't know, but they're they're cute. And then a bunch of googly eyes. <laughs> and then ribbon. So this little packet of ribbon. And this roller ribbon. Sort of 60s flowers. And a little dot ribbon, and another different dot, and then this little spool of, and I don't, I'm not sure if these are paper ribbon, yep. So that was all the goodies that I got very blessed very spoiled I also got a gift card to uh, DoorDash <laughs> from Aaron and Stacy and the kids um, which I haven't used yet because I feel like I want to save it to one of those days when I just have a craving or just don't even think that I want to cook um, it's nice knowing I have that um, and I'm expecting something from Reagan today. Uh, she called me and she was like, oh, I sent you a present that's only for me. It's not from anybody else. And then she like, you know, as a side while mom paid for it. But <laughs> um, it's supposed to be coming today. And she, I have explicit instructions that when I get the Amazon package that I can't open it until I call her because she wants me to, she wants to see me open it. So that is supposed to be coming today, but we'll see. And yeah, I think that that's about it. So, oops. So, <laughs> um, the rest of my plans and stuff, I'm going to keep going for the week. I have a lot of stuff to put away. Don't know if that's going to happen. Um, I'm still thinking about like how I'm going to use my drawers of my new little thing. Um, we do have a three-day weekend coming up, Labor Day weekend, so maybe I will be able to like do a little bit of um, painting on that that on that extra day. I don't know. Um, if I do, I'll try and film it, or at least I'll show you the results and uh, and see if we can get some organizing done. But you know, 
you know me, it's kind of like, yeah, sometimes best laid plans. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Um, but in any case, um, I do, uh, you know, want to continue on the path that I have started here and, um, and hopefully just have another good week of, uh, you know, getting puttering, getting a little bit done, getting crafting done and relaxing and, uh, babying my body when it feels crunched up and I don't know, uh, opening all my windows, try and get some nice fresh, uh, raining air in, but it just, I'm really hot in here. So maybe I just need to open more windows or something. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have a great week. I hope your weather is good, uh, regardless of what it is. Um, and that you have a week full of fun and relaxation and stitching and crafting and all the good stuff. So until I see you again, please remember to be content, be kind, and be crafty. This is Carla. Bye-bye.